What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to of course be talking about with you guys. This time I actually wanted to talk about the recent report that does suggest that Victor Oladipo has officially re-signed with the Miami Heat on a one-year deal worth around $11 million and this is all being reported by Shams. I think this is absolutely a really good deal by the Miami Heat. I mean, there were a lot of rumors going around. I mean, it was being said by Jake Fisher of Bleacher Report that he actually expected um, Victor Oladipo to leave in free agency, and that was only being said a couple days ago. Then we know that about a month or so ago, it was being said that Victor Oladipo and Jimmy Butler had some low-key beef going on, and that's why they were barely on the court together. And then as soon as that was said, it just seemed like something like kind of switched and Victor Oladipo started playing a little bit more in the playoffs and he and Jimmy Butler were sharing the court a little bit more. So whether that report was true, I'm not exactly completely sure at this point, but this is a great signing by the Miami Heat. I mean, Victor Oladipo, in my opinion, he deserves to be starting. The issue is... Jimmy Butler and Oladipo just in the same starting lineup is a little bit of an issue because the way both of them like to play is they, in my opinion, they kind of like to play a similar role except Jimmy Butler's in, you know, full, I would say probably his prime right now, while Victor Oladipo hasn't exactly been that great and I don't even think he's played 80 games in like the last three or four seasons, so... It's a little bit issue. They both really like to roam that wing, um, be a shot creating wing that just, you know, defends really well. And again, the issue is, is that Jimmy Butler just kind of does everything that Oladipo does just at a much higher level and an all-star level. Um, and again, this has kind of left Victor Oladipo to go to the bench because it doesn't really look like you can start both of them together. There's a lot of players that should be starting on this Miami Heat team. I mean... I think they've got to start Tyler Hero. I know that Pat Riley says that Tyler Hero has to earn his starting spot. I mean, you can't just play terrific, you know, in the 20 to, out of the 35 minutes or so that you play. you got to play every single minute with 100% full effort. And I know that Tyler Hero doesn't necessarily always do that. But I feel like you've got to reward him eventually and he should start. Honestly, next season, I wouldn't even be surprised if they brought um, Kyle Lowry off the bench um, because Kyle Lowry and Butler just didn't really work in the stretch towards the end of the season and both of them wanted to hold the ball and I don't know, it just wasn't that great. In my opinion, you, we could see something next year where we see maybe Tyler Hero start at the one and Butler maybe goes to the two or something like that and then you have Lowry off the bench and Oladipo off the bench as well. It's going to be a really interesting thing to see how that, you know, of course, does eventually work out. They still have to trade away, um, I think, Duncan Robinson. They've got to find a move for him. And where that's going to be, I'm not too sure. I thought they were going to get a Mo Bamba type of player. I thought Mo Bamba was going to be absolutely awesome for them. But they didn't end up getting him. And Mo Bamba, for some reason, re-signed with the Magic. And I don't think a trade can actually happen now because... It wasn't arranged as a sign and trade, meaning that you gotta wait like months and months until Mo Bamba, I think, is traded. I'm not exactly too sure how that's all gonna go, but yeah, that was a little bit of a weird one. I'm not too sure what's necessarily going on there. But at the end of the day, Victor Oladipo, back to the Miami Heat, was an absolutely terrific signing. I think they're going to really like getting Oladipo back, especially when Jimmy Butler, you know, he has been missing some games in the last couple years. So, you know, having him out in those games, you kind of just bring Tyler Hero into that starting lineup, plays a similar role, and yeah. The thing is, Tyler Hero absolutely loves it in Miami. Um, that's the reason he signed on a one-year minimum in the first place, and of course, he, um, well, Victor Oladipo, sorry, loves it in Miami. It's why he signed the one-year minimum. He, um, again, kind of backed down $80 million to get to Miami at the end of the day, you know, when he got that offer by not only Indiana, but Houston. And again, I think he was always going to end up signing with the Heat. The issue was maybe him having beef with Butler. We know that didn't end up being, you know, necessarily correct. But again, there's also one thing I'd like to point out. If I had to ask you guys how many regular season games 
Victor Oladipo has played for the Miami Heat. You might say, oh, he's had a lot of injuries, but he's probably played around 40 games. Believe it or not, Oladipo has only played 12 games for the Miami Heat in, a re in the regular season. He's actually played more playoff games for the Miami Heat than he has regular normal games. So now that he's kind of back from injury, it's going to be really interesting to see how he goes. And yeah, since 2018, he played 36 games in 2018, 19 in 2019, uh, 9 um, for Indiana in 2020, Houston, he played 20 games for them, 4 for Miami, 2021, he played 8, and now this year in 2022, hopefully he can get a full season under his belt, that'd be really awesome to see him back again. He's been injured for too long, we really need to see him back on the court, and I'm glad he's kind of doing it with Miami. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA content and NBA news. Don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Are you guys excited that Victor Oladipo, of course, re-signed? Do you guys think it was a good idea or do you guys think it was a bad idea? Again, I definitely really would like to know all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Um, but of course, as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Through the